good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever this video finds you, I hope you're having a rad time. I'm the Figure Dude, and on today's action figure review, we're going to take a look at the Hulk Hogan 3-pack. Without further ado, let's talk about some figures. Dude. Welcome back. Like I said, today I'm going to review the Hulk Hogan 3-pack, and um, I've been kind of thinking about this. I've wanted to do more just like straight up reviewing of um, of figures, of packs, and I'm not going to do it for every single figure. Um, I don't pick up every single Elite, and a lot of times I like to wait until stuff is on clearance anyway. So, um, you know, I don't want to be doing a bunch of reviews well after people have picked stuff up. So um, every now and then, I think I'm going to start reviewing some figures that I pick up or some that I just, um, I don't know, some that are higher on my list. So just like some random basics, maybe um, three packs like this, the multi packs, d definitely. Um, but I don't know, here and there, I'll do some reviews. And then for like my uh, on Fridays, when I do action figure finds, I think I'll just kind of leave that more for when I buy like eBay lots or when I buy like um, packages that aren't um, just straight from retail that are from secondary markets or whatever. So I um, think that's kind of what I'm going to lean towards. But today I'm going to take a look at this Hulk Hogan three pack. Um, like I said, I like to wait until clearance often to get some stuff. And with these bigger boxes, you know, obviously the price point is a little bit higher. So sometimes um, I, I'd prefer to just wait until it drops a little bit. Um, I wasn't going to pick up that four pack with Austin, Rock, Becky, and Hogan. Um, like I didn't have a huge desire to get it. And obviously like it had some other stuff besides just going to retail and selling. Um, but that one I never picked up. Um, it went to clearance, but I just never got the opportunity. This one, I did not want anything to happen. I picked it up the first chance I got. Um, when I, I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm a millennial. I was born in 1992. I grew up with Jax. And, uh, doing a lot of really cool multi packs. Um, the first figure pack I ever got was Mankind, The Undertaker, Paul Bearer, and The Executioner in a four pack. And I just always love like the box art. Like I like that there was themes to them. And this one again is just like one of the Hogan three packs they did. Um, that had like one of the Jax Titantron live figures. It had like the Jax R3 tech. And then I don't remember if they had like a classic superstars body. It was a weird three pack, but at the same time, it was really cool because you got three different iterations of Hulk, which is what we have here. So we've got um, like OG Hulkamania Hulk over here in the middle, obviously NWO Hulk. And I believe that's from when he fought Sting um, at Starcade. And then over here, we've got Ruthless Aggression. Um, Hulk still rules. Just uh, so much going on in this pack. Updated skin tones, torsos. Um, a lot. So I want to take a look at it. So I'll get it open here. Um, I'm a loose collector. So while I do like when boxes look really cool, it's not like a deal breaker for me. Um, I don't care if stuff gets messed up. On the back, we've got a big description. I'm not going to go through read the whole description. Um, the Over here, we've just got the pictures to align with what we've got in the box, which it is backwards. So like the this, this Hulk is down here. Um, I just said I'm a loose collector and don't really care, but that kind of bothers me. I wish they'd flip those. Anyway, uh, Hulkamania, NWO, Hulk still rules. Let's get this box open. All right, so first off here we have the uh, Hulkamania era Hulk, and there's a lot here um, that I know like a lot of people are, are hulked out, don't really care for Hulk, and I think that's completely understandable. We've gotten a ton of Hulk Hogan figures, um, but like, through my eyes, there's so many Hulks that I feel like we could get. I like to get like specific attires of things. So like this one, um, I don't know how many times it was worn, but he wore this blue and red scheme against Terry Funk on Saturday night main event. And I don't know if he ever wore it more than that, but, um, like it's just a, like a, like a, a moment where like sometimes we get it, we get figures that seem to kind of be like a mix of different like events or um, it might be like the circa this is kind of what he wore in 2014 so we just pieced it all together which we get sometimes and I don't I don't like that I like specifics 
Um, but then again, like, I guess I don't know if this one is 100% accurate to, to the actual event. So um, with this one, um, we do get two pointing hands. And this is in the, uh, like, hot, I just think, like, the hot dog skin tone. So two of those pointing hands, two open hands, and then two fists. And we do get a new head sculpt, which when I think of um, WrestleMania 1, that Oh, like that video, like the video cap recap of, or highlight, I don't know, of Hulk Hogan and Mr. T walking out to the ring. Hogan's got that uh, bandana in his mouth. And I feel like this is a very iconic look um, for Hulk Hogan. He's got it in his mouth. It does look kind of weird over here. Like I think from straight on, it looks cool from the side. It just, I don't know. I mean, it's accurate. I'm sure that's what it looked like. But, like, having it kind of detached there, I don't know. It looks kind of weird. Um, I think that the, the the look is great. Maybe the execution isn't, like, 100% spot on. But I do think it is a really nice sculpt. I always like getting cool sculpts. And with Hogan, um, getting unique sculpts and facial expressions, I think, is is important because we ha we get so many. So not just reusing the same stuff. We do get some upgrades. But we've got the... Uh, um, world heavyweight belt that Hogan held and I do have some comparisons once I get through this one um he's got the big like Rusev sized arms the beefy arms and then obviously the same build as um a lot of his older figures um or like the Hulkamania era figures so I do want to get the shirt off and then um kind of look at the attire a little bit more okay so getting that shirt off was terrible it was really difficult um, I appreciate them giving us a shirt that is a stretchy material, at least. Um, and I like that we're getting a non-ripped shirt. We've got the rips on the back, obviously. Um, but I wish they'd keep that for an Ultimate Edition. Um, we got this shirt that does tear away, obviously. That's what I'm going to keep on this. It was awful trying to get that off. Um, I didn't know so the neck peg is really tall. So this is probably going to sit pretty low on other Hogan bodies. Um... I also noticed that everything is pinless. So the legs are pinless. Sorry, trying to get this head back on. The legs are pinless, the arms are pinless, and I do like that, I think it looks fantastic. Um, but the issue is articulation out of the box is is scary. Like, it's I, I, I want my figures to have tight joints, but the arms are all right. The legs are, are pretty tight like these are on ball joints pretty sure yeah and they still like kind of snap up and down which I, I don't, i'm not a huge fan of like i'm gonna put it in hot water you can see it's pinless here but i don't know i wish they'd find i don't know if it's just because they're like the joints are tighter i don't know it's it, it looks really good and like i mostly just keep my stuff on the shelf I don't do a ton of posing around. I do when I like take pictures for th thumbnails um, and whatnot, but um, great looking figure. It's just the pinless stuff. I think um, it, the look, they've got it down. If they could just work a few things out so that um, like it's all together a smoother figure, I think that'd be really nice. Um, comparison wise here, did want to bring in the ultimate edition, Terry Funk, which is another very nice figure. I really like that figure. There's Terry Funk. And then we've got the Defining Moments figure, which is actually um, all all stock pieces, except for the um, the head. I did swap the head to give him this red bandana. Um, this was swapped with the like WrestleMania basic we just got. And you can see, here's the old skin tone of normal looking tan Hogan. Even though I don't think he ever just had a normal looking tan. And then here he is with the Ultimate Edition. Just, I, I know, like, it, people are, see, you can see, he's, this does sit pretty low. He doesn't have much of a neck here. And I think if you just was a little bit taller, like, the heights would be pretty close. Ultimates are typically a little bit taller anyway. Um, but, yeah, I really, the, the blue, I think is really cool that we get that. We've got, obviously, over here is a different belt and everything. And this ultimate is based on WrestleMania. I don't know. I, I think I'd like to even swap this over here and get that look I was talking about. But um, there's that one. We're going to move on to NWO Hogan. 
All right, here we've got NWO Hogan, and there is so much stuff going on here. This is the updated Hulk Hogan skin tone, and I think that they're going to stick with the, like, orange skin tone for his uh, Hulkamania, or, yeah, Hulkamania figures, and then, um, like, NWO, um, and then, like, on, I guess, is going to be this more, like, <laughs> leathery, um, been sitting in Florida on the beach all day kind of Hulk Hogan tan. Um, we've got the two sweet hands, and these are the same hands that we got with the ringside exclusive NWO, where it's all sculpted, so it's not just painted on, like the knuckles, the hand back here are all sculpted. Great looking hands, and uh, if you're not looking at them, knowing they're from Hogan, it's ridiculous how, <laughs> how brown and tan these things are. But this figure is awesome. Um, the only thing, I wish there was the white outline on the top and bottom of the knee pad. We've got the Hollywood bandana, obviously, the sunglasses. And then we do get the um, flip, like the cutoff Hollywood rules shirt, I think is really cool. Um, and it actually, it comes off pretty easily, even if without popping the head off. I don't know if this is a new sculpt. I think it's a reused sculpt, but that's okay because we got a lot of new on this. We got this new torso, and I don't even have a Hogan with the skinny torso to compare to because I hated that torso. I swapped it off as soon as I got the chance to. Um, unless I'm tripping, I did not get a weight belt with this, so we'll have to grab a white weight belt from someone else. I don't think... I don't think there was one. I'll have to go check out some pictures. Um, either I didn't get a weight belt or I lost it. So with the torso, it does still sit a little um, shallow, uh, which this is still way better than what we got with the Seamus torso. That was super skinny. Um, with the weight belt, I think it'll cover it up just fine. But I really like how they sculpted this to he so he's got like the kind of like barrel chest. I think it just captures his his look really well. If I bring back the box here for a second, you can see on the back. It really like you can really see it. It's got the like the skinny waist and the um, upper chest. Like he's just sucking in the whole time, and that just seems very on brand for Hulk Hogan. Um, the the tan is really, really nice. I'm going to have some comparisons with some other figures so you guys can see. Um, but I always laugh because at WrestleMania 18, so obviously this is before then, this is from WCW still, um, Hulk Hogan was darker than The Rock. And I'm like, The Rock is, um, is mixed. He's Samoan. So he's not super dark, but The Rock is still black and <laughs> Hulk Hogan was significantly darker than him. Um, so I think this captures that really well. Um, I like that we get more with this attire. So, um, I've got the, our, uh, the, I always say defining moments. Got the ultimate edition Hulk here. And obviously it's got the ultimate edition torso, but this one just seems so plain. Like obviously we've got the boots, but it's just some lightning bolts on the side. This one has like, I, I like the boots more. They've got the light blue with the, with the, like, with the white outlines, I just, I like the boots more, the tights are better, there's so much more going on, they've got the movie reel over here, the Hollywood tights, just think this figure is awesome, um, we are getting this re-released, and it's supposed to be, um, with an updated skin tone, so I assume it'll be this one, not the orange one, and it's also gonna have butterfly joints, so, it's gonna essentially be the WrestleMania one, I think we got, did that have butterfly joints on it? Yes, it did. So there's this what the uh, this Hogan and then had to get him with his Starcade counterpart here. We've got Sting and this minus head swapped. I put the long hair sculpt on him, but I am pumped. I really really like this. Um I've been working on kind of sorting out my Attitude Era Monday Night Wars shelf because we're going to be getting all those Monday Night Wars figures which are starting to, as as I'm recording this there's a lot of people um reporting picking them up. Um, like finding them on secondary market, not at retail, but finding them places. So I'm really excited for that. This is a, this is like a, like a must have for that shelf. So we're also getting more Hogan's in there. Anyway, there's the NWO Hogan. Last one we've got here is the Hulk still rules. So let's get to it.
Okay, last thing we have is the Hulk's little rules. I did want to mention this, though, because I was talking about this. Pinless legs, look how hard it is to get these things to come up. It's really frustrating. They're on ball joints, and they still snap. I don't know if it's just, like, not molded well, but it is impossible to just move them smoothly. And if I am paying, like, I, I don't know, this three-pack was $65.99, so, like, $70-ish. Um, with tax and everything like I don't want to have to boil water and throw my figures in it so that they move um, I don't pose them around a ton but I do move them around a little bit to make sure they stand balanced on my shelf and when they have uh, stuck joints like that it's going to be like if they fall off the shelf um, there's a higher chance they're going to snap off and now that that's the most frustrating anyway Little rant over, we're going to take a look at the last Hogan in this pack. We've got Hulk's Little Rules Hulk, and we did get this in Elite 91. Um, I did a little fix-up of mine, and these are, are a bit different. They kind of just swapped the um, color with them. So that Elite 91 is, I believe, molded in red, and they put yellow over it. And this is the opposite. It is all molded in yellow. I assume these are all pinless as well. Um, we got the yellow boots this time. Last time we got red. So they did just flip it around. But then we get this bandana or uh, boa. I don't remember. I think we, we got with that one. Um, he's got the yellow belt. And I did a fix up of mine. So I don't technically remember exactly like which came with which. And this has the plastic bands on it. I do like this boa way more than the first one they gave us. Again, this one is pretty tight. We've got the bandana, whoops, the yellow. There, Hulk still rules bandana. This one, again, we've got the tearaway Hulk still rules shirt. We've got the um, the normal one on him. He's definitely got a, like the short neck. And again, like, I'm not even going to try and push it. These are rock solid. Um, I'll just, I don't even want to risk snapping them. We've got just the plain Hollywood. Hollywood weight belt there. Tearaway shirt. And again, I'll just save this for an ultimate edition. Because I don't want it to break. Um, the skin tone is awesome. I think that... I don't know why sometimes they give them, like, I don't know how they end up doing, like, deeper cuts on heads. Like, I think they'd be pretty uniform to where they're not being ending up really low like that. Um, all of my heads have looked good. I haven't had any, like, misprinting. But we've got the beard, obviously, on this one. Updated skin tone. And really not much different than what we've, we've seen already. Um, it's just this is the... Uh, NWO Hogan with the with the Hulk still rules yellow and red update. So here are my fix ups. I've got the I've got Elite ninety one. I put on the old the defining moments torso to make him bigger instead of having that Seamus torso. My ring's a little off, so that's why the height looks especially off. But you can see this is the I don't think I swapped around leg parts, just the torso here. So he's got the red boots with the face on the side. I put a knee brace on him because he was wearing a knee brace around then. And then um, I do have kind of like my quintessential look. I felt like for Hulk still rules was um, the Elite 91 body. I had made a Hulk a long time ago. So here are the boots that I painted. Here's what we got from Mattel. Obviously, you can see they got a little more detailed with theirs. Um, holy moly. Holy. Oh, man. So what I'm probably going to end up doing here is taking this shirt off eventually once I build up the uh, the effort. And he looks, I don't know, I feel like he looks tiny compared to these guys. The ring is flat over here. Over here is kind of elevated, but um, this one's got that orange skin tone. So I'm not going to swap it around, um, but I am going to move, like I'll move a knee brace to this one. I think this is a great looking figure. Um, what else? Got to, where'd my undisputed belt go? We got to put the undisputed belt with him. He won it briefly off of Triple H for like a month. Like, I really enjoyed that Hulk Still Rules run. 
So it's cool to get that figure, but let's move these guys to the, the background. Get his fellow three-pack compatriots out here. So there we are. We've got these three eras represented. Whoop, NWO Hulk. But Steve Ozier himself said we've got a lot more Hulks coming. I'm personally excited for that. I'm going to pick up that new Legends one here before too long. Um, I've seen a lot of those at retail, so I'll, that's one I'll probably wait till it clearances. The Jimmy Hart figure as well. I think that's when he was managing him in WCW. So I'll pick that up too. Um, going to go pick up that. I'll, I'll try and pick up the Chase Andre, the red one. So I have a yellow custom, but um, that is going to be everything for the review today. So I do want to do more reviews. You guys let me know what, what you want to hear. You want to see more comparisons, um, go into more detail about like when or where attired are from. I don't know. Whatever you guys want to hear. I enjoy reviewing figures. Um, I always have a lot of thoughts about stuff when I'm picking it up. Um, and then when I do unboxings, I typically don't want to just talk forever because I'm trying to show you guys what I unbox. So um, outside of that, uh, please continue to like, share, subscribe. Every, I always appreciate it. Every single like, comment. I, I, I like talking about figures. Um, outside of that, you can't buy happiness, but you can't buy more figures. Figure Dude, out.